Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an amazing add-on known as Instant Material. So Instant Mat is a tool made available by Oliver J Post. Link is going to be in the description where you can get it. And this tool will solve all your problems that has to do with standard material creation. So without further ado, let's dive over to Blender and take a look at this. So once you download this add-on, you'll be able to make the installation by going over to Edit. Go over to preference and you do all of those things that has to do with installing stuff if you want to get started with this if you tap shift and press f on your keyboard you would notice that we have a couple of materials that we can assign to this so for clarity what we're going to do is to split our plane into two so let's just get this going and i'm going to convert this to a 3d viewport and let's set this to ev as it is so let's make sure that we have everything looking cool I would love to get a grid, so let's throw a grid right there, scale this all the way up. I love this object, let's drag it all the way up as well. And then we will subdivide this by 5, just to make sure that we have what we're looking for. So with this here, if we tap Shift and F on the keyboard, we can assign and set this to a metal material. So that is how easy it is. Once you do that, automatically this becomes metal and you should be able to preview this. Now you can switch from aluminum to chrome to copper to gold to stainless and also to bronze. So you can make all of these changes and at any point in time you want to change the main color, you can always change these colors and you can see that everything has been set for you. So it's only a matter of you selecting what you want, making the adjustments that you want and getting over with it. So if you click right here where you have the material preview, you can preview this material and see what it looks like. At the same time, if you want to make yours, you can also choose to make them by setting this custom one and custom two and at any point in time you come back to Blender, you should be able to get these things and work with them on the other hand if we also scroll down here you can see we have the roughness the age and also the brush surface if you crank the age up you can see we get some weathering going on there if we drop the age down you see it becomes smoother we crank this all the way up you can see all of these visual feedbacks are things that will take you some time to set up especially if you're just getting started with blender but a tool like this has made it possible for you you can also choose to get some brush surface if this is what you're going for and you can also crank that all the way down you can crank it up crank it all the way down if you want to get some roughness you can punch that roughness up or you can simply drop this down to something like so and you can enjoy working with this so there's a whole lot of things that you can do with this so let's also continue by talking about some other cooler stuff if you tap shift and f one more time we can set this to wood so once we set this to wood you can see it automatically gives us a wood and we can switch from whatever wood that we want we want them painted cool painted to default wood you know if you want some rough wood if you want some glossy wood you can get that if you want the glossy wood too you can also get that if you like to overlay some images let's say you just want to create your own kind of overlays you can click on the image overlay load these images if you want but if you don't if you don't there are images right here that have been placed for you to work with so you can choose to work with a brushed image or you can choose to work with any of them if you have a rendered image as well you can also use that and if you just simply click on any of these images automatically they should be applied to the object itself so let's click on add object image as overlay and once we do that we should be able to get this one going on right there you can play with the mapping if you want if this is what you're going for and with all of this said let's take a look at some other cooler features that comes with this tool so if we also go through and tap shift and f we can choose to play with some things so we'll go through some of them right now if you don't like the way this preference is set up you can change it from list to pie menu so now you get this beautiful looking pie menu that you can work with at the same time if you want to make some quick adjustments to the material you can simply go over to quick adjust and from here you can make some adjustments to the material so you don't need to you know go back to the material editor to start doing these things you can literally do them right here and then if you're satisfied with this or you want to apply something else like glass for example you can click on glass and automatically this is going to load glass to this object of course we may not be able to see this because we are running this directly with ev so let's switch things up a bit and change this to cycles so once we change this to cycles of course you can see this in all of its glory so 
pretty cool eh? so once you select this as well and let's tap shift and f one more time go over to the quick adjust you can see we have milk glass which is one of the glass type that we have here and then we have the default glass and of course just like we talked about earlier you can make any change at all that you want now let's dial things up a bit and take a look at some tools that exist here and also some cleanup settings that you can do so i'm just going to change that to wood and make a couple of wood balls so let's go ahead and mix some of them so we're just setting this one up there let's zoom out a bit and then let's make another copy right over there and then if we tap shift and f we can go over to tools and then randomize the hsv of course this is going to be a lifesaver several times you may want to randomize objects within your scene randomize the colors but you don't really have all of that time so a tool like this would definitely come in handy so from here you can make those randomizations if you want to play with them you can do whatever you want and you can have fun playing with it something else which also makes a lot of sense like if you have smudger you can connect smudger to this and you can start working with it and several times once you're working with materials you end up having tons and tons of materials that you don't even use so in this case what you would do is to simply go one after the other deleting this but the instant mat actually has something that covers that so if you tap shift and f one more time go over to this part where you have as cleanup you can choose to purge the materials purge images or you can clean the entire slot so if you want to purge all materials or you want to auto rename all materials you can do that but for this case what we want to do is to purge materials that we're not using which are these materials right here except for this particular one these are the ones who want to purge them so we'll tap shift and f go over to clean up and then purge materials and with that done if you click right here you'd notice we only have the base material which is responsible for the floor and then we have the wood material and this is you know pretty interesting to see and for anyone who is trying to get into materials you just don't want to be bothered about creating standard materials by yourself you just want to get things up and running and just move with the whole thing then this tool is definitely for you simply go over to the link in the description to check it out and of course if you want to check out some other things from oliver j post there is also the smudger pro which we've talked about link is also going to be in the description to where you can see the video and also where you can get this tool tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace